Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton in from the Flourish Academy and today we will be correcting a clothing issue inside of Photoshop. But first, make sure you visit our website flourish.academy to learn more about our courses and join us in our free private Facebook community where we support photographers of all levels. And check out our sponsor ymcamera.com for all of your photography needs. You will be supporting a small family owned business. My friend Rebecca recently sent me this photograph and she said that unfortunately when she took it she did not notice that we had a situation here. So the first thing I'm going to do is press command or control J on my keyboard in order to duplicate the background layer. M to select the marquee tool and I'm going to make a selection about like this. When I first tried to correct this issue I started with the liquify tool but I didn't like the way it was smearing pixels so I decided to go to edit transform and use the warp tool. Now what we can do is just kind of click and drag to the left and to the right and we're going to close this. It won't close completely. I'll show you how we'll fix that in just a second. You can press enter or return to commit, command or control D to deselect. If you zoom out and look, you can see Oh, we did, we did cause a situation with our thumb. We're going to need to correct. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, because thumbs aren't typically like that long. All right, what we'll do next is duplicate that layer with the Commander Control J. And again, with the Marquee tool, grab it like this, edit, transform, warp. And we'll just do that. I'll fix the thumb. Okay, relax. Bring that in a little, actually, I'm gonna bring it in even a little bit further. Enter or return, Command or Control D. Oh, I did something, I made a selection there. Okay, I'm going to add a layer mask and then be on my keyboard to select my brush tool. I will make sure that my foreground is set to black and what I will do is just start to brush over that area. So I'm just concealing part of that layer, which, look at that, looks really good. Okay, so if we hold down Alter Option and look at the before and after, okay, I know, I see the issues with the hand. So what we can do is select layer one by holding down Shift. So both of these layers are selected. Command or Control G in order to group them. Now we're going to add a layer mask to the entire group. So there's a couple of different ways you could tackle this. You could use the brush tool set to black and conceal those areas, or I don't know why, but I'm inclined to press Command or Control I to invert that mask and then make sure that my brush tool is set to white. It's currently black, so I'm going to press X on my keyboard to switch it. And then I'm just going to brush over this area right here in order to see what we can do X on my keyboard to flip those swatches and brush over that X again. And I'm just going to really carefully work on this area. I'm switching. I'm just constantly switching my brush tool from black to white to see where I want to reveal and where I want to conceal certain parts of this because there is a natural fold obviously in the jeans. And if you're watching my swatches in the bottom of the tool panel on the left, I'm just constantly switching. Let's back up and see how we're coming along with this. Because remember, this is a full length image. And if we look at the before and after, you know, I don't, I don't love this line, but I'm having a little bit of trouble. Well, there, that took care of that. But then there's the shadow here. If I look at this before and after, really the only issue that I don't love is this little bit of a shadow here. So I wonder if I could just create a new layer, be on my keyboard with my white brush tool. No, I don't wanna do that. Alter option while you have your brush tool selected and grab this color maybe here. Drop the opacity of the brush and just kind of like brush over that to lessen the, yes, okay, that looks so much better. And if I look at 
There we go. The overall before and after. It is a little misaligned, but I guess I could push that over to the right if I wanted to. But if I look, you know, all the way back here, look, that looks pretty good. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.